Hi guys, um, I'm just doing a quick video today. Um, so I asked a question on Instagram a couple of days ago about the types of things people want me to video. A lot of people messaged me saying they really want to see some more recipes and more cooking videos. Um, I haven't filmed a what I ate in the day today um, because I was working today um, at my Saturday job, which I do every now and then. So yeah, so lunch was literally just a salad whilst I was there. It's nice, quick and easy, sin-free. So tonight we are having a fake away Nando's. Um, so there's so many different ways that you can make this, whether you use your healthy extra B, whether you don't. Um, so tonight we aren't having um, it with a healthy extra B. It's going to be completely sin-free. Um, but yeah, we're having butterfly chicken, spicy rice, um, macho peas, corn and salad. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you the prep that I do to make mine and uh, oh, also we're going to have halloumi too, can't forget that. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm just going to show you my prep, uh, what I do and how I cook it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Okay, so first up I'm making the spicy rice. Um, so I'm just going to show you the ingredients that I'm using. I've got, um, so basically this is the rice. Um, on Slimming World you don't have to measure out your rice. Um, but I do just for portion control and just to stop me from overeating. I weigh out about half a, um, well just over half of a mug for, for two people. Um, and then I bring the water to a boil. Um, so I literally have just got a pan of water here. I've got it on a high heat and I'll just bring that to the boil. Um, and then once the water is boiling, I'll add the rice and I'll add these ingredients too. So I'm gonna do about a teaspoon or, or two teaspoons of um, paprika. So really with ingredients like this, I don't actually measure them, I just pour. Um, I kind of just, like see as I go um, but if you do like to do your measurements I would use probably a couple of teaspoons of each except for the chili powder obviously that's to your preference same with the chili flakes um, depends how spicy you like things um, and I would recommend using two tablespoons of um, tomato puree and yeah so what I will do is add all of this to the pan once the water's boiling um, and leave it for 12 minutes and once I've left it for 12 minutes it's um, it's perfect every time you do want to give your rice a quick rinse as well just to make sure um, but yeah so I'll show you oh and also for the last minute of cooking um, I add the peas um, so they're out at the moment just defrosting um, and I stir them through for the last minute of cooking but yeah I'll show you it all as I go yeah and also for the rice I add a chicken stock um, so yeah, so I'm going to add chicken stock, add all of these seasonings and the tomato puree um, to the pan when I add the rice, give it a good stir and then the peas last. So I've added all the ingredients to the pan, given it a good stir just to make sure that the stock cube has melted. Um, I'm just going to leave the lid on, um, turn the heat down to like low or medium, probably going to put it quite low. Um, and I'll leave it for, I always leave it for 12 minutes, check it and if it looks okay then I'll just turn the heat off. If it looks like it needs a bit longer then I'll just add like another minute or two. Next up is the um, macho peas. Um, this recipe is really really easy and it's, um, it's sim free. So I'm just going to bring the peas to a boil. And then once they're done, I will split them in half. So I'll put half in a bowl and leave the other half to one side. And I'll mash the other half with a fork. Um, and then add in some chili flakes and mint. But again, I will show you as I go. Yeah, so I've got the um, rice and the peas on. And I've also preheated the oven for the chicken. Um, so for my chicken, I um, pop it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes until it's kind of cooked through. And then um, at, at the end, I just pop it on a griddle pan just to like sort of sear it on top. Um, the reason I do the rice and the peas first, but with the rice, um, after it's cooked, I drain a little bit of the water away and leave a tiny bit in the pan. And then you can leave it to one side and it just stays warm in the pan. And if it does need um, topping, or, or heating up a little bit before you serve, you can just, with that little bit of water that's in the pan, you just turn the hob back on and it won't like stick to the bottom or go nasty. So yes, yeah, so that's just what works for me and that's just like how I like to do my rice. This is only how I do my spicy rice, I wouldn't do normal rice this way. Um, but yes, now I'm gonna do the chicken breast. And earlier I did say this was a sin-free dinner, but I forgot I'm using this, um, the peri-peri rub. 
Um, this is a 25 gram pouch and the whole pouch is three and a half sins. Um, I won't use all of that. I'm only using two chicken breasts. So I'll use just a little bit of this. So it might be about half to one sin per person, but I've literally not had any sins today. So don't mind. But yeah, so just don't forget to sin that if you do use this. So I'm just butterflying the chicken breasts. Not the best at butterflying a chicken breast. I've just butterflied the chicken breasts and seasoned them with the peri peri rub. Um, I'm going to pop these in the oven now for about 10 to 15 minutes um, on 200 and then I'm going to take them out and finish them off in my griddle pan. So yeah the rice is done now. Um, as you can see there's a tiny little bit of water and liquid still in the pan. Um, so yeah I'm just going to literally leave the lid on, leave it to one side and um, that will be fine and it will stay nice and warm. And as I said before, if it's not quite hot enough or warm enough, I'll just um, turn the hob back on for a minute or so and let the rest of that water soak up and it should be perfect. So I've got my corn on and boiling. Now I'm going to finish off the peas and prep my salad. So I've just prepped my salad. Um, I've got lettuce, um, some coriander, some onion, tomatoes, um, jalapenos, spring onion, and I've weighed out my halloumi. Um, I use the lighter halloumi, which is uh, 45 grams for your healthy A. Um, so now I'm just gonna prep the peas. So I've, got, I've split them in half, so I'm gonna leave these ones whole, and then I'm literally just gonna mash these ones up with um, a fork, just gently mash them. And then I'll stir in some chili flakes and some mint and a tiny t uh, and a little teaspoon of butter. Um, I don't always add the butter, but because I've not had any sins today, I just thought I'd add a little bit of that for more, make it a bit more th authentic. There we go. The peas are done. So as I said before, it's just um, a teaspoon of mint, some chili flakes, um, a little bit of butter, and then I've mixed in the whole peas with the mashed peas. I've added the um, chicken and the halloumi to the pan. So I've just finished the chicken off in the pan. Um, so I cooked it in the oven and then literally I just popped it on the pan and cooked it so it's charred um, a little bit on each side. I literally just done it for about two minutes each side and that's it all done so i've got my chicken halloumi the salad corn macho peas and the spicy rice looks pretty damn good to me